Hello everyone. Today I will show you two ways of creating a ghost effect in DaVinci Resolve. The ghost effect is perfect for music videos or other types of videos with a lot of action in it, like sport videos. And today I will show you two ways of creating it. And I'm sure that you're gonna like how easy it is and how cool it looks. So without further ado, let's start. I am in the editing tab in Resolve and I've got here my two clips on a timeline. I got them from Mixkit for free and I will leave you a link to their website below. But now let's just zoom in to be able to see better our timeline and let's start from the first technique. First I'll cut my clip in order to separate the section I want to apply the ghost effect on. I will do a first cut here when she starts turning. I think it will look nice. And the second cut will go here when she finishes. Now we will go to the effects library and in the open effects we will search for the motion trails and we will just drop it onto our clip. And let's play it and let's see how it looks. Okay, I like it but we can modify it. So I will click on my clip and I will go to the inspector and now I will click on the effects and here I will increase the trail length to 10 and we can also open the advanced controls and change the composite gamma from timeline to custom and once we've done that we can change the custom gamma with a slider in order to make the effect darker or lighter so just check different options and have a look what works best for you I prefer darker, so I'll leave it like this, and let's watch it. Looks good, but it's a bit too slow, and I want to apply here time remapping. So I'll right click on it, and I'll choose retime controls, and then I'll just drag the clip to the left, so the speed is 200%. Okay, and let's join clips together, and let's see. Looks nice, but now the transitions between the clips are not smooth enough. But this is something very easy to improve. We just have to right click in between the clips and add 12 frames cross dissolve. And now let's see. Perfect. So this was the first technique. And we can move to the second clip where I will show you the technique number two. So again, Let's pick the parts of the clip we want to apply our effects on. For me, it will be here, up to here, and then I'll pick a second section from here, to here, okay, and now I'll duplicate these two clips. So just by holding the Option or Alt key, I'll move it up, like this. And I'll do the same with the other clip. Okay, let's stretch the timeline. And now we'll move the clips that are above, three frames forwards. Like this. Now the second clip. And now we will decrease the opacity, so we'll go from 100 to, let's say, 60. And you can see now in the viewer that our ghost effect appears. And let's do the same with the other clip. Okay, let's play it. Looks nice, but let's add 6 frames cross dissolve at the beginning and at the end of the clips to soften the transition. And let's see. Much better. And now we can add more layers over the top. So let's hold Option 
and let's move this clip above and then let's move it three frames forwards again and now it looks like this and maybe I'll add one more layer why not and I will move it let's see perfect so now it looks even more interesting and on the second clip I will add some outlines so again it will look a little bit different I will click on it and in the open effects I will search for the edge detect I will apply it onto the clip and as a default it looks like this but we will blend it nicely with the clip so let's go to the effects in the inspector and here I will change mode from RGB to grayscale and here we can manipulate the threshold smoothness and brightness so feel free to play with it we can also change the noise type and the noise strength and in order to blend it with the image we will take edge mask overlay like this and let's see looks great and at the end we can also adjust the global blend so here we will decide how strong effect we want and now let's just see the final result full screen Thanks so much for watching my videos guys, I hope that you like them. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to message me. See you soon.